Hello Mersey Beat lovers and welcome to another allotment gardening vlog. Now this is a cold frame I picked up at a local store um, a few days ago. Got it for about £15. Uh, normally retailing at uh, £69. So that's good goodbye. Um, by Rollinson, which is a good make. It's hardwood, hardwood frame. Uh, three foot by two foot coal frame. Uh, now, a coal frame, you can see, it's good quality wood and stuff there. A coal frame is great for extending the growing season by at least a month either side. So, um, you can grow your veg earlier in the spring and uh, later in the autumn. So, you can extend you know, if you're in the UK, of where we are, we can extend our growing season by, by at least two months. And it's great for overwintering crops as well. So I'll just show you how to put this together, if I can. First of all, you need to uh, make sure that you've got all your bits and pieces. Uh, I tried to put this together the other day, but I forgot the instructions. So I didn't know which screws went where. So I thought I'll leave it until I, I bring the instructions down, which I've got with us now, just to make sure I don't do a botched job of it. Because there's nothing worse than building something and then having to take it apart again. So make sure you read these instructions. Not word for word, obviously, but just to make sure you've got all your parts and uh, you know what's what. It's quite a simple uh, construction, putting a uh, curl frame together. It shouldn't take long. Um, but we'll let's see how we get on with this. It's, it's, there's not much to it really. Um, it's a, a great, uh, great thing to have, and a great addition to allotment gardening and gardening of all kinds really. To have a, at least one coal frame. Best thing to do before you start is just lay out all your um, bits and pieces, uh, and just to make sure you familiarise yourself with which bit goes where. So if you get a, a space big enough to. Uh, to do that that's great um, the great thing I like about this coal frame is that all the sides are clear so you've got these um, this plastic thing so that's obviously a side that goes like that um, it's probably the front or the back and it's a slightly sloping you see these at the side this is slightly sloping so that uh, the top, which is that bit over there, um, is facing the sun. So, usually put it on a self-facing self uh, orientation. And then uh, the sides, with them being clear, uh, give maximum light to your plants. So it's like a, a mini greenhouse, if, if you like. So that's the idea with that. So yeah, first of all, just lay out all your bits and pieces and uh, let's get making it up. It's a good idea to lay out all your screw bits and then check them off with the uh, with the, the list to see that you've got the right number of screws and bits and pieces and uh, they're all numbered on the on the sheet so then you can correspond that to the diagrams that they show you here and which screws to use in the right places. So that's a good idea to do that before you start. Hey, look who's joined us. It's Fat Nuts. Hello, Fat Nuts. <coughs> lovely boy. Aren't you lovely? <coughs> yes, you are. Fat Nuts. Good to see you, boy. He's the allotment cat. We don't know his real name. He's, I think he lives in a house nearby to the allotments and he comes and sees us every now and again. First time I've seen him today. Good to see you, boy. Right, the first thing I'm doing now is just setting up the, uh, the frame, more or less how it should be. Um, trying to get the orientation right. So the screw's going, whoops, and it falls down. So, usefully, the manufacturers thought and thoughtfully have provided an Allen key type construction thing. So, 
great for uh, screwing it in. Saves a lot of time with getting the right screwdrivers and the bringing all that equipment down to the plot. So it's easy assembly. Now this is important because you'll notice the um, this is one side of the coal frame and this is the front edge. You notice this edge is shorter than this edge here which is taller so uh, that goes at the back that goes at the front and also this has holes along the back here for the screwing of the lid so putting the lid on there so it's important that you get them right the right way round and it's not you don't screw it on so that they I mean on the wrong side or maybe it goes that way perhaps it does go that way so it screws on from inside that sounds better doesn't it okay onwards and upwards Captain John so I was right the first time um, best idea is to leave these on the outside so that the lid can lie flush with the frame here and open and close quite easily. So if you do see them on any of these manufactured uh, coal frames, make sure you do that. So I'm just putting the last, you can see it's coming together. It's really simple to assemble, um, nothing to worry about and uh, nothing to get stressed about hopefully. As long as you get organised, you'll have it together literally in a couple of minutes it's taken me 15 minutes to put this together now and i'm just put, putting the finishing touches to it final screw going in now there we go and that's the uh, basic frame done and uh, very attractive it looks just too very nice yep okay so the next stage is to put the uh, the roof on coal frame. So for putting the roof on or screwing it on here, as you notice, we've left the uh, these little screw holes there on the outside. And if we put it on the outside, it lies flush with the frame. And uh, just move it down there. And for this. You're going to need little screws and also it helps to have a screwdriver so there's no allen key for this job so it's just about screwing them in into the holes provided here there stop putting them in and uh, because i haven't got my electric screwdriver charged up I'll just do, turn it by hand. There we go. So we'll just carry on until we've screwed all these in. Go. One thing to watch is that these uh, little screws, you put them in, just stick them in the holes before screwing them in, because the last thing you want is to lose these screws in the grass, which I just did, and uh, just found them now. Uh, so, you just make sure you stick them all in, otherwise you're gonna be a few screws lost. We don't want. Okay, just make sure they're all tight. One last check. Okay. That's good. So that's it. That's uh, 
whole frame assembled. So like I say, the, the short end, which is the front end, goes towards facing the sun. There we go. And um, the last thing to do now is to get the um, the braces on so you can adjust the, the height of the thing to ventilate it because you don't want it getting too hot um, when you've got young plants in there on very sunny days. It doesn't matter so much in winter but in summer if it's too hot uh, plants can die obviously and dry up so it's useful to know that there's a little overhang here as you can see which is great for just lifting the lid okay so it's important that you have that really just to lift the lid there we go so I'll put these braces on now which come in the form of uh, these kind of things metal rods and screws and the ever um, popular butterfly screws very important okay so you'll notice that there's um, there's two holes here on the side of the uh, frame and there's one the bigger one there and a smaller one there so the idea is that these braces kind of like this one is screwed to the small hole at the top and then you've got the bigger with the butterfly um, screw, butterfly nut is screwed there and hopefully the brace should lift and you can tighten it up at any given height. I'll demonstrate that when I get these on. Okay. So the first thing to do is to take this um, screw here and um, you put it through here you can just turn that by hand until it screws on. It comes through this side here. There it goes. And you can tighten that up eventually. So you do that on both sides. So I'll do it on the other side now. And uh, let's see if we can tighten them up with the Allen key here. That's important to do. Just give them a turn so that they're not going to work their way out. They're tight. That's good. Right. Okay, the next thing is to screw the brace into that little hole there. With these screws. And you can begin to see how the mechanism works now. Construction, but effective. Now it's important to not screw them too tight, these screws. They've got to have a certain amount of movement in them for you to open the lid. So if you notice, it moves. So there's got to be a certain amount of movement in that. Can see that? Okay, I'll fix the other one on the other side. Okay, now we're ready for our wing nuts, which we'll put on here. And I'll show you how that works. Just lift it up. It's difficult with one hand to do it. And let's see 
basically it means tightening up and there we have it so we can adjust that um, depending on how hot or how cold it is um, so we can grow all kinds in here another good thing about this construction is that all the fittings if you'll notice a brass which should ensure that they don't rust which is always important also the hardwood should last a long time because it's hardwood it's well treated um, but it's good to give it uh, some kind of linseed oil perhaps every year just to keep it uh, in good nick and to clean the inside and out to make sure there's maximum light comes through that's a fantastic thing uh, a curl frame obviously you don't have to buy one you can make one I've seen people make them out of uh, old windows stacked on bricks around the side or you can make them out of pallets or anything really as long as you've got a kind of like a certain amount of light coming through good thing about this one is that the the sides are clear with this Corex plastic uh, material which is, uh, is great for letting in the maximum amount of light into your growing plants which they need and especially in the winter when the the hours of light and dark are uh, very short a short amount of light so you need the maximum am amount of light to grow your winter vegetables so that's all set up now and uh, I'm going to sort out a place for it on the plot and uh, work out uh, where I'm going to put it. But uh, thank you very much for watching this little tutorial. I hope it's helped you. And if you do see a bargain in your local DIY store, um, get it, you know. I mean, I wish I'd got two of these, to be honest. For 15 quid, I, you couldn't even buy the wood for that, you know. Um, uh, the Corex is about £25 a sheet, so 15 quid for what normally would have been a £70 coal frame is excellent and it increases your uh, growing capacity so you can grow through the winter and you can be harvesting lettuce and um, all kinds of uh, vegetables on Christmas Day if you like. Why not? Uh, it's the 4th of October now so it's the time to be thinking about your winter plants and overwintering and getting stuff in. So until next time, I hope you'll subscribe to um, Mersey Beat Gardening. And if you um, like our videos, please give us a like and any comments you've got, please leave them at the bottom of the videos as well, because I'd love to hear from you and what you're doing in your part of the world. So thanks for watching and I look forward to another video allotment blog.